hello everyone welcome to my new video in the series of verita solution i hope you're liking my video and uh, finding them useful in today's video i'll be talking about the net backup uh, before we start just briefly uh, overview of the environment that i have uh, in today's class we'll be backing up and restoring certain things using the net backup option and to do that i have uh, two servers running. Uh, I have a VDC which is a domain controller with the IP address of 192.168.101.10 then VNB is the net backup server which is acting as a master and media server which I will explain to you in a moment what does that mean with the IP address of .20. Uh, name of my domain is sharma.local and I'm running these machine on my uh, Hyper-V. I've already installed the uh, net backup software on my net backup server so as you can see that it's already installed uh, what I'll do is that I'll open it uh, as I mentioned that uh, this server is acting as a master in media what does that mean is uh, in net backup you can have a two tier or a three tier installation so if you have a two tier installation uh, it, it means that your net backup server is acting as a master and media server both and then the other part is the clients in this case is going to be the domain controller which I'll be using to uh, backup uh, but if you're using a three tier installation then you have a master server on a separate machine and a media server on a separate machine so from the net backup point of view think of master server as the brain behind that's the place where you're gonna uh, assign all the policies, uh, assign all the storage units and the media server is the one which will be doing all the legwork so master server gives all the commands and media server does all the legwork and do the backup uh, to the storage units that you have uh, mentioned uh, in, the, in the master server uh, policies so as you can see I am in the administration console login option so what I'll do is I'll put the password and I'll log in now another important thing I forgot to mention is uh, in case you're doing the two tier installation like the way I have done on which your master and media server will be on one machine uh, make sure that you do the typical installation and when you reach the window of choosing between a master and media server choose the option of master server uh, when you choose the option of master server the media server will be media server component will be automatically installed with this one but in case you're doing a uh, separate installation on two different machine on master and media server make sure you do the custom installation and choose the options accordingly so i am in the net backup administration console as you can see all the information is there i'm running 7.7.3 and uh, let me just expand this now the first thing that you have to do as you can see on your screen on the left side is you expand the storage option because we need to tell where we're going to back up all the information so for today's demo what we'll do is that uh, we'll explore the storage unit option and i will create the storage unit so let's right click on the main plane and choose new storage unit and we'll give the name of the storage unit which is gonna be uh, demo the storage unit type is disk space so you can leave it to the default uh, the, the disk type is basic and my media server is VNB and uh, you can browse to the path so I'll be backing up on the C drive so you can uh, you can choose the C drive and then there is another option this drive can exist on a root file system or uh, system disk now what does that mean is uh, net backup generally doesn't recommend that you store the backup on a location where your operating system is so my operating system is located on the C drive so net backup saying is that it's generally not recommended but this is a test purpose so make sure that you select this option and uh, then you can choose the maximum concurrent job you can increase the value accordingly so what does that mean is it tells you the number of jobs you can run at the same time high watermark low watermark is basically the information which net backup will give you in case you're running out of capacity on your disk drive and you just hit ok so 
it is a simple uh, creating your storage unit so basically your storage unit is created and basically what you have told net backups to store in this particular st place all your backup when we'll assign the backup now after you create the storage unit the another important thing is to create the policies uh, which is very important part in the net backup so what we'll do is after you select the option of the policies you will right click and you will select new policy then you have to give the name so for the test purpose what we'll do is I'll give the name of the policy it is policy 1 after you give the name we have to configure certain uh, options so as you can see after you create the name then you have to uh, configure attributes schedule clients and backup selection so it's a windows space so we'll leave the policy type to windows then the policy storage so this is the place we're going to do all the backup which we just created uh, right now so it is the name demo that we have given you can increase the job priority accordingly so let's you can give any number it doesn't matter this is our test purpose uh, so basically in case you're running multiple jobs the one with the higher priority gonna get uh, the priority to run first and you can go to the schedule then and then you can create your new schedule so hit the new button and uh, this is you can give the name test you can tell net backup the start window so we can just highlight this is the test purpose otherwise you can give accordingly uh, over here what time you want to start and what time you want the backup to end and you can also exclude the dates so we will not bother about that and you just hit ok and then you can go to the client so in our case the client is the domain controller so we'll, the name of our domain controller is VDC and it is running 2008 R2 server edition so you can go and select Windows 64 and you'll hit OK and then you do the backup selection so in this basically you can tell what you are trying to back up so what you'll do is that you'll hit the browse button and then it's going to scan the uh, C drive of my domain controller and then we we'll can select what we want to back up or deselect what we want so we'll just wait for all the information to populate here and as I mentioned that uh, I have created the folder so let me just go to the domain controller and uh, created a folder with the name test and I have a text document also is under this one this is the test backup now this is the one that will be backing up and after that I'll also delete this one I will see if net backup is able to restore or not so let's go back here let me expand let me expand C drive so we want to back up the test document so let's we will select test and you hit the OK button and uh, I don't want the page file I just want the test folder to back up and you hit the OK button and you hit OK again so it's basically updating all the information on the policy and then what we'll do is we'll, do, we'll run it manually so your policy has been created and uh, you have given the schedule but what we want to do is for our purpose we want to manually run it basically what we want to do is we want to run it immediately so what you can do is you can right click on the policy that we made 
and then you can go to the manual backup and you hit this one and this gives all the information it's the name of a policy test and the name of the client and you hit ok again and now the backup has been initialized so if you want to see your activity you can go to the activity monitor under the backup archive and restore option select this and as you can see that under the job ID the green guy is running so what does that mean is that the job has been put in the active state and it gives you the name of the policy with the job schedule and the name of the client and hopefully we will get the status uh, successful so when we get the successful status they're gonna be uh, the code within with zero that that what net backup consider as the backup has been successful so we'll just wait if you want to further uh, drill down into this one you can double click on this one and then you can go to the detail status and as you can see that it's connecting with the client and uh, gathering all the information so we'll just wait till we get the successful uh, option Okay, so it seems like the backup has been completed and as you can see that we got the status code zero which means uh, the backup was successful. If you want to make sure that you can go to the C drive where we gave the path and as you can see that that's the information about the backup that it has been created uh, or completed successfully. Okay, so the backup part is done. So let's go to the uh, domain controller. So what we want to do is now I want to delete that file and we'll see that if we are able to restore with the net backup so let's go to the C drive this is the folder that uh, I want to restore so what I want to do is I want to completely delete this from our C drive so right click delete here we go and I'm also going to remove that from the recycle bin so we can empty the recycle bin and let's go back onto the net backup server let me expand this make it full screen now if you want to restore what you can do is that just above activity monitor you can go under the backup archive and restore option highlight it and you can go under the restore files and go under the actions option and choose the specify net backup machine and policy type and then as you can see over here that the server to use for backup and restore is the net backup server the client in our case is VDC so make sure that you choose the domain controller well that's where the uh, that's what the client is and then you hit the option OK and uh, then we should get the option so as you can see that uh, VDC is uh, now visible and then you can go to the C drive of VDC and uh, as you can see that uh, test is the folder that we want to restore so what you can do is we'll select the test folder okay and you want to hit the restore button so we'll hit the restore button and it's loading data from the net backup server and there's going to be a new window which will be open and we'll just select few options in that and our restore should be should 
be pretty good. Okay, so we want to restore everything to its original location. And actually, let me minimize if you can see that. Okay, so it's asking me to start the restore. Do you want to view the progress? Yes, I want to view the progress. So as you can see that uh, the restore is in progress mode now. And if I go into the activity monitor, again, as you can see that the state has been, it's now active. The green guy running again. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to restore the test folder and the file also within that. still double click on that and we look into the detail status so as you can see that the uh, restore has been successful again we got the status code zero so it means we are good but let's go to the domain controller to make sure that and uh, test should be there so as you can see the test folder has been restored and also the file within that one too okay so pretty good so I hope you learned something today, uh, creating from uh, storage units and creating the policies. In my next video, I'll be exploring few other options within that backup. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in my next video.